Hey, this is Ryan Wilson, captain of the Street Surfing Street Team. And congratulations, you are now the proud owner of one of the coolest new rides on the street. The wave combines the motions of surfing, snowboarding, and skateboarding for one of the coolest new sports, street surfing. On the wave, you can ride uphill, carve downhill, and even perform and adapt cool tricks. I've even seen riders ride sideways and even backwards. Learning to ride the wave is fun and easy. In this DVD, you'll learn the easiest way to learn to ride the wave, and you'll discover what's new and hot in the world of street surfing. Like any action sport, there are risks, so be careful, be patient, practice, and have fun. Also, make sure you always wear your helmet and protective gear. If you can, try to start on a slight downward slope. This will make it a lot easier when you're starting. So basically, the rounded part, or the nose, is the front of the board. The flat end or tail is the back. Now it's not designed to go backwards, although I have seen it done. When you put the board down, make sure the nose is facing in the direction that you want to go. Every rider is either regular footed or goofy footed. This means that if you stand with your left foot in front, you're regular footed. If you stand with your right foot in front, like me, then you're goofy. It just depends on what's comfortable for you. Put your front foot on the center of the front platform. Then gently rock the board forward so it's level with the ground, like this. At this point, your back foot should still be on the ground. Now, push off with your back foot and lean your weight over your front foot while you place your back foot across the middle of the back platform. If your foot lands off center, like this, or like this, get off the board and try it again. And remember, you should be standing sideways, not facing front like a normal skateboard. After you push off, look straight ahead. Straighten your body, bend your knees, and start twisting. Move your hips back and forth, like this. The twisting of your body causes you to slightly shift your weight on your back foot. After a few tries, you'll start making an S shape like a snake or like a fish. You'll never have to put your foot down again. You might want to know how to turn. All you have to do is use your front platform to guide you in the direction you want to turn. Lean your shoulder into your turn, and before you know it, you'll be doing some awesome 360s. By the way, stopping is easy. All you have to do is let the platform drop to the ground and step off the board. It's totally normal for the wheels of your wave to wear down. To get a really good ride, you'll want to replace them with some fresh street surfing wheels. Insert the wrench into the bolt or axle of the wheel. Turn counterclockwise to loosen and remove. Remove the female axle the male screw, and the spacers, and set them aside. You'll need these parts to put on the new wheel. Discard the old wheel, and if you're replacing the bearings, discard them too. To construct a new wheel, you'll need to insert one bearing into one of the openings of the wheel. Place the spacer provided into the middle, then close the wheel with the other bearing. One side of the caster has a round hole, the other is squared. Start by sliding the female axle through the squared hole. First, slide the spacer on notch side to the wheel. Then, slide on the wheel. Finally, slip on the last spacer notch side to the wheel. Use the male bolt to tighten with the Allen wrench. After purchasing a new set of deck plates from your favorite store, remove them from the package and be careful not to lose the small bag of replacement screws. You'll need these later. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws holding the deck plates to the back of your wave board. Once all the screws are removed, use your screwdriver to push out the deck plate from the back of the platform using the small slots located around the edge. Snap in the new deck plates and replace the screws. You are now ready to ride in style. Most importantly, don't forget to wear a helmet when you ride your wave. For added protection, you can also wear knee, elbow, and wrist guards. Do not ride your wave on steep hills, in traffic, or other potentially hazardous areas. Children should be supervised at all times by a competent adult. Check all hardware on a regular basis, and if there are any loose bolts or parts, tighten them immediately. And if a part is broken, 
Contact info at streetsurfing.com so we can get it replaced and get you back on your board. Customize the wave any way you want. We have different color wheel sets that you can put on your board. Also, you can pop out your deck plates and insert any one of these awesome designs. And since you can't ride all the time, the wave carrying bags makes it easy to stay on the go with pockets for your phone or MP3 player as well as one for tools and wheels. With this new freedom on the wave, stunts never before possible are being discovered and developed by our advanced riders. No matter what you ride, the wave combines elements of all board sports. So whether the surf is low or the snow is melted, the wave gives you the ride you're looking for year round. And did someone ask for air? Why stop with finesse? Most skate tricks can be adapted and even enhanced with the two-wheeled action. So what can the wave do for you? For more information and to stay in tune with what's hot in the world of street surfing, log on to streetsurfing.com.